in tonight with another person homeless in Kansas City found dead in the cold. It's hard to even understand how this can happen in a city that has so much going for it that, you know, these people are just so forgotten. Man's body found inside a vacant building near 54th and Prospect. And that's where we find Andres Gutierrez. He's there live. Andres, you talk with the woman who called 911. What does she tell you? Well, Kevin, she is devastated after making that disturbing discovery in that building right there in the distance. As a volunteer, she provides meals and supplies to the city's homeless. This is now the second homeless person that she knows who has died out here in the elements over this weekend. Every time somebody dies, it traumatizes the whole community because they know that it could be them tomorrow. And so Alina Hart didn't think twice when someone asked her to check on a man staying at this vacant building, but she was too late. It appeared like they were trying to stay warm without any shelter, and it, it appeared, I'm not sure, but it appeared like they... They suffered from the cold. As Kansas City police look into how the man died, his death surprised Daniel Thomas, a groundskeeper at the Holiday Motel across the street who saw him often. We had thought he had gone to a shelter or something, you know, right now. And here we see that he didn't passed away over here. It's hard to even understand how this can happen in a city that has so much going for it that, you know, these people are just so forgotten. On Friday, another homeless man, Scott Ike, who people knew as six, died of hypothermia at East 24th Street and Woodland Avenue. It's kind of sad to lose people, you know, that just need a place to stay. Monica Baptiste is one of the several dozens who visited this warming center run by Street Medicine KC during the day. They mobilize this center whenever the temperature is 37 degrees or below. It's found believes there are sustainable programs available to address the homeless crisis during this pandemic. It has to be a program to where those individuals that come there can be transitional, kind of like a feeder school moving up to better care and better housing. Council member Brandon Ellington has such an idea. He's working on a proposal to set up homeless enclaves at three to four parks around KCMO. It'd be a lot cheaper to create an enclave that is uh, in close proximity to resources. Something needs to be done. They can't freeze to death. It's a horrible way to die. And now council member Ellington is looking for a co-sponsor for his proposal and expects to introduce it to the council next week. Reporting live in Kansas City tonight, Andres Gutierrez, 41 Action News.